This game is rated M and is intended for mature audiences. And holy cow, that was a long scene. Wow. I think we can go for one more skit for like a half hour, and then I'll probably end the stream. Hey, Sachi! Hey, girl. As I returned to the first floor after my bath, I spot Sachi walking toward the front door. Hey, I got a bone to pick with you. You sent a photo to Amine. <laughs> She's in full maid uniform, but her hands are empty. Somehow this feels vaguely unsatisfactory. Probably proof that I've gotten accustomed to the way things work around here. <laughs> She's just walking closer and closer to us. Yo, Sachi. Good evening? What? Sorry, my bad. What is, what is happening with Sachi? Is she having a, a, a stroke? Well, this is one thing I'm not sure I'll ever get used to. Sachi's ability to do absolutely bizarre things while keeping that this is perfectly normal, why do you ask expression on her face is really something else. So, um, just curious, but is talking like a dyslexic with a Russian accent some sort of a fad these days? Or maybe this is some sort of code? That was kind of rude. Which would leave... Oh, brother. Just as a new theory begins to take shape in my mind, Makina pops out from in between Sachi's legs. What? Okay, where did you come from? The heck? Since when were you a bloodthirsty boxer? As I look on in silent amusement, Makina pulls Sachi's skirt back and forth, noisily rustling the fabric. Are you a cat? Sachi's calm toleration of this action reflects her trust in Makina. Or at least, I really want to believe that it does. Yeah, you always come back at the weirdest times, Marty. We just had a very long conversation with Amine, and I'm pretty sure we just ignored her route. So at this point, we have de declined both the Makina route and the Amine route. <laughs> Alright, so why is Sachi talking in that bizarre way? Oh, brother. Marty was the first one in chat. She just took a break. Extreme typo. The frig? Makina mimes pulling a cigarette from her lips and loudly blows out the imaginary fumes. Apparently she equates adult with smoking. <laughs> I managed to resist commenting on the matter, allowing Makina's deranged explanation to roll merrily onward. No. At least say free player match or something. Well, knowing this girl, the innuendo is probably more reflexive than anything else. Also, if you're looking to recruit another player, why didn't you just invite Amine? <laughs> oh, good. She's going to... <laughs> she's getting culvers for us. Come to think of it, I guess it is about that time of day. And that's why you dragged Sachi into this instead? Tell me, Sachi, what do you think of the games Makina comes up with? I can't even understand what she's saying. Much to my regret, I'm unable to play extreme typos for the religious reasons. <laughs> Why do you say that? <laughs> I'm pretty sure part I'm pretty sure there's a verse in the Bible that prohibits that. <laughs> I'm not gonna give Sachi's back a vigorous thump, prompting her to take a step forward. I'm not Tepenka Pie. What are you talking about? Huh. It seems this combination is more dangerous than one might expect. Okay, then, give me a demonstration first. 
I love that they didn't point out, like, that's impossible for a religion to, to prohibit this. And more just, no, we know you're lying because you broke eye contact. As soon as those energetic words leave Makina's mouth, the two of them turn to face each other, assuming a, con a conversational posture. What's the purpose of this? I see. Keeping track of all those rules seems like it would be surprisingly difficult. And depending on how skillful you are at rephrasing veins, you might be able to come up with sentences that don't use many of the letters at all. And there's also some sentences, like that one, where nearly every word has to be altered. Oh, talk, goes, talk, goes. Where is this coming from all of a sudden? Man, Mexican food is so good. In that case, why don't you go ask Amine if she can add tacos to tonight's menu? <laughs> I know of a five-story Taco Bell nearby. <laughs> Within seconds, Makina's slippers are squeaking furiously up the stairs to the second floor, all else forgotten in pursuit of her prize. Little puddles of drool mark the path she followed. I can't tell if she's just, like, a toddler or if she's, like, a dog. What can I say? The girl really does resemble a hyperactive ten-year-old at times. <laughs> so, Sachi. When I turn back, Sachi hasn't budged an inch. In fact, she's staring at me intently. Sachi, don't you need to start dinner yourself? What's more, she's still observing the rules of the game. <laughs> Shiny! And now that I look closely, I kind of get the feeling there's something I, like expectation burning in her eyes. Alright then, want to try this extreme typos with me? Seems my gut feeling was correct on this one. Sachi responds eagerly. Since I'm a student now, wasting a little time on this sort of pointless nonsense seems vaguely appropriate. But, I don't want a reputation as the sort of goofy twit who enjoys this sort of oh, sort of game for its own sake. Alright, let's talk details first. Bring it back to normal for now. Her tone betraying a hint of regret, Sachi closes her eyes for a moment, probably consciously deactivating her extreme typo mode. The thing is, this game doesn't really seem to have a set ending. Let's make it into a match. First person to slip up loses. We're gonna lose to Sachi. There's no way you can beat Sachi at this. Let's see, no clamming up entirely or ignoring your opponent's requests. That should be enough. <laughs> Let's play this with penalties! I hadn't thought about that part, but, well, I guess that'll encourage us to take the match a little more seriously. Oh boy! She's seriously fired up about this. Well, if I win, I guess I'll ask you to take care of my laundry or something. Not the rest of your days, no. That's not really what I said. Anyway, uh, what do you want uh, me to do if you win, Saji? I am very curious where this is going to go. Ooh, I like it! <laughs> Super high stakes. Hmm. If Amine or Michiru asks me for this sort of a blank check, going along with it would be far too risky. But I'm pretty confident Sachi's not going to demand anything too outrageous. She could, though! She could! Yeah, that's alright by me. <laughs> if we lose, we have to date her. Maybe that's it. <laughs> and so I begin my bizarre verbal duel with Sachi. Ah, good evening. So, how are things going with you, Papadi? 
ポプル校長です。Good to hear. <laughs> We gotta think really hard, folks. <laughs> Considering the way Sachi kept up this game perfectly right up until I asked her to stop, winning this match probably won't be easy. By the way, can you name the Demis Sithuan steamed pop tree dish with the sesame saute? Okay then. How about the parkest size and t h r o i d I designate as d a n k e r o u s anima under Japanese paw? I don't know. <laughs> I, I soup into Russian accent when I'm talking like this. Name an u n t o v e n t I can't keep up with this. <laughs> an u n t o v e n t i o n up trip ride under the epistit dirt of the rubber. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Hmm. I thought. Pavulp would be a pretty tricky to pronounce. Maybe we need to stumble on the easier second word, but she brushes off the combo attack as easily as the rest. Yeah, there's a thip in the air. Dish and thips. <laughs> I love dish. <laughs> Don't argue with that on that one. What are we doing? Spash and burn acupuncture. That was a trap? The question sounded ten times more to say than the answer. Next, Sachi draws near and holds out a small slip of paper toward me. Uh oh. I accept the scrap of paper, then unfold it to find a few lines of neat text scribbled across the interior. Takuchi chan, who utilizes slash and burn agriculture, stuffs her cheeks with bang bang chicken and fish and chips while riding the catapult bungee. The heck is this? So that's your game, is it? In this match, there's no set rule limiting the means by which you can influence your opponent's response. Sachi cannily spotted this loophole and identified it as the surest path to victory. Very wep. I gently shut my eyes and draw the muscles around my solar plexus taut. Carefully perceiving the flow of energy now surging through my body, I direct my current force into a swirling whirlpool, terminating it a single point at the core of my body. Once, twice, three times. <laughs> Avatar State! <sighs> and in the next instant, I unleash the power like a coiled sprain. <laughs> no, I literally just babbled with my tongue. Hmm. And so the match ended all too quickly in my ignominious defeat. I know it's just a game, but losing to you is honestly pretty frustrating. Well, it'd just be lame to take a match like this seriously. Especially since I was playing against a younger female classmate. Maybe I let her win? Or so I attempt to console myself without much success. Okay, first of all, can you go back to normal now? Must say, though, I wasn't expecting you to be that good, class rep. <laughs> Sachi sounded really weird there. No, it wasn't. Why are you spouting sports cliches all of a sudden? And for some reason, she has acting shy about it. Only if you're a professional athlete with muscles where your brain should be. <laughs> You've got pudding where your brain should be. <laughs> Not that I hadn't noticed before, but Sachi's knowledge of the world is decidedly warped in many areas. So, what's my punishment for losing? Sachi's words trail off hesitantly halfway through the sentence. What's wrong? Haven't you made up your mind yet? 
<laughs> I want to know where this goes. Then spit it out already. Oh, that's it? Oh, sure. Huh? Unable to comprehend Sachi's bizarrely simplistic request, I answer with incredulous, uh, an incredulous grunt. Sachi, you have really low expectations for this. Before I decide, I'd really like to hear why you chose that, of all things. Ah. Yeah, and I'm asking why. Aww, that's cute. Sachi's tentative questioning tone suggests her own understanding of the matter is still incomplete. But from our interactions to date, I'm well aware that this girl never tells a lie. Which would mean that these are unquestionably her true feelings. Do you feel the same way when someone else compliments you? Has nobody else complimented you? Oh. They, they take her for granted. Well, I guess I can understand that. After a while, your actions do tend to inspire concern more than gratitude. Yeah. With those words, Sachi closes her eyes and sinks into thought. Well, the request itself isn't unreasonable, and it wouldn't be particularly unpleasant for me, but... Wow! Well, gee, folks! This is the easiest decision in the whole game. Why would you not praise Sachi? She's very praiseworthy. I have a feeling this leads to the Sachi route, too. Alright, fine. I don't have any problems with praising you, if that's what you want. Yeah. Defeating me in a match is worthy of recognition, and it's only natural to praise someone when they deserve it. I think someone might have told me the exact same thing a long time ago. Ooh, this music! What's wrong? Did I say something strange? Sachi responds to my question with unusual haste, then bows deeply for a moment as if to collect herself. So, as for the details, what kind of praising are you looking for specifically? That's quite the vague request. That said, it wouldn't be fair to break my promise after the fact, even if something as even in something as inconsequential as this. I draw close to Sachi and reach out my hand toward her head. <laughs> oh yeah. What? Normally, Sachi can strip off her clothes in public without a hint of embarrassment, but at the moment, a rare pink blush has spread across her face. Just for future reference, this sort of line should only be used when you're getting in bed with someone. I gently shoot down Sachi's feeble entreaty and place my hand on top of her head. You beat me fair and square. Pretty amazing work, Sachi. <laughs> and then we give her the head pat. The head pet of love. Oh, her hands are chubby in this. <laughs> her look at how big her hands are compared to how tiny her fingers are. They they these look off off proportion a little bit. <laughs> Sorry, I just noticed that. This has to be the first time I've touched Sachi's head. And yet, the feeling of her hair under my hand is oddly pleasant. There's even something vaguely nostalgic about this sensation. Very nicely done. Aww. That's cute. I like that CG, even if the hands are weird. Sachi went stiff as a board at first, but soon closes her eyes in apparent pleasure. As her body relaxes underneath my hand, I begin to slowly pat her head. No, 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 no. Gentle head pats. Right, left, right. Every time my hand moves, little bits of gibberish dribble from Sachi's mouth. It's kind of amusing to watch. <laughs> Aw. I'm really not doing it that forcefully. Sachi sways back and forth helplessly in time with the gentle movements of my hand. 
This is another first for us, but for some reason the motion comes naturally to me. Right. Snapping out of it at the sound of Saji's voice, I quickly draw back my hand. I think I ended up going at her head for a relatively long period of time without even realizing it. <laughs> I think that was just a weird part of the CG, where, like, the CG had off-model hands, because her hands right here seem look pretty normally proportioned. I also don't know why my eyes immediately were, uh, were drawn to it. And for some reason, she's currently staring intensely at my hand. So how was it? Did the pit out of your stomach get warm again? Definitely. In typical Sachi style, the girl asks this question with a perfectly straight face. If so, I'd like to see about selling off the technology to some manufacturer of home appliances. Sounds like exactly the sort of feature the gullible housewives of the world would love to have in their toasters. <laughs> you have that kind of scratch lying around? She can get it, though. Not surprising. Well, anyway, I guess this should do it for my penalty. Sachi offers me an enthusiastic thumbs up. Deal. Hmm, I suppose. I wasn't really planning to cut off your compliments in the first place. If you act in a way worthy of recognition again, I'll, I guess I'll probably praise you again. Aw, that was cute. I thought my response kind of, was kind of brusque, if anything, but Sachi blushes the same shade of pink as before and offers me a bow of thanks. That said, if we happen to duel again, I fully intend to win. <laughs> That's not necessary. That's your prerogative, but don't forget to attend class, alright? The thing about Sachi is, you know this isn't a joke. She genuinely did forget. In any case, I've learned something from the time I spent with this honest girl today. The act of praising someone, the sensation of petting their head... I've been making a habit of rustling Makina's hair around lately, but this somehow felt different. Exactly what that feeling was remains unclear to me, but whatever it was, for some reason, I enjoyed it. I guess Makina's games aren't all bad. Somehow those have become my honest thoughts on the matter. Well, folks, I do believe that we are now on the Sachi route. Mitra is like, you thought you were on the Sachi route, but you are wrong. <laughs> well, that was like the easiest decision to make. I gotta say, I kind of planned on playing this game for my first time, just choosing the dialogue decisions that I personally would make in these situations. And it worked out, and we ended up doing Sachi first, which is exactly what I was hoping for. By that, I mean we're on the Sachi route. <laughs> Let's just make sure, though. Okay, I did save over there. The girl who can't say no. Yeah. That looks to me like the Sachi route start. Alright. It is now officially 3 o'clock. I'm going to have to end the stream there. Thanks everyone for watching. This was a lot of fun. And I'm glad we're finally on an official route now. This is going to be fantastic. And a lot of fun, I do hope. Anyhow. Uh, look forward to more streams for me in the future. I still do Backyard Baseball on Monday and Wednesday at 8 p.m. And I'll be doing more Fruit of Grisea next Saturday at probably around the usual time of 1 p.m. So, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and weekend, and God bless.